Jam 2017 chemistry exam question number 30 is what we're looking at. Calculate the percentage composition of oxygen in calcium trioxocarbonate form. We're given molar mass of calcium to be 40, carbon to be 12, and oxygen to be 16. So let's quickly look at this. So we have the molar mass of calcium trioxocarbonate 4 is 100 grams per mole, and the molar mass of calcium to be 40 grams per mole. So the percentage composition of calcium will simply be 40 all over 100 multiplied by 100 over 1. And that is 40%. This corresponds to option C. So option C becomes the correct answer to this question. Question 31 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams. Calculate the quantity of electricity required to deposit 28.64 gram copper from its salt solution. We're given the molar mass of copper to be 64 and 1 Faraday to be 96500. When you look at the equation of reaction, we can deduce our two electrons are required to give us 1 mole of copper. That will simply be 2 multiplied by 96500. So we have that the number of moles of copper is the mass all over the molar mass. And that will be 28.64 all over 64. That will give us 0 0.4475 moles of copper. So the quantity of electricity that is required to give us 28.64 grams copper will simply be the number of moles multiplied by the Faraday value. That will give us 0 0.4475 multiplied by 2 multiply by 96500 which will give us a total of 8637.50 columns. JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. Question number 33. The arcanoic acid found in human sweat is what I want us to know is arcanoic acid are organic compounds derived from the alkane family and they contain the functional group carboxylate. Examples of arcanoic acid are the ethanoic acid, the butanoic acid, and the propanoic acid. But the alkanoic acid that is found in the human sweat is the propanoic acid. So if we go back to our options, the correct answer here is option B. Let us look at question number 34 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams. Which of the following separation techniques can be employed in obtaining solvent from its solution? I want us to look at a typical solution. If we add water to salt, we're going to be having a salt solution. So, how can we separate water that is a solvent from this salt solution? We know from our residual knowledge that water has much lower boiling points than salt. So, what we do is simply apply heat. Water will evaporate, leaving the salt behind. And this method is simply called distillation. So when we look at the options given to us, option B becomes the answer to this question. Question 35 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. In the equation above, an increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium position to the we're given four options in this question. I just want us to look at this information. We have minus 395.7 kJ per mole of heat change. This is telling us that the reaction above is exothermic and the reverse reaction will simply be an endothermic reaction. So in an exothermic reaction where heat is given out, heat is treated as the product of the forward reaction. In this reaction, if we increase temperature, the equilibrium position will shift to the left since the forward reaction consumes the excess heat. And we have that the equilibrium constant will also decrease. So option A has found here is the correct answer to this question that the equilibrium position will shift to the left and the equilibrium constant will decrease. Question 36 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams. 
Mixing one part of slate, lime, and three parts of sand with water will produce. The correct answer to this question is option D, which is mortar. We look at this. Mortar simply comprise, uh, comprises of lime, sand, and water. So it is obvious from this equation that the correct answer is option D.